You know how you get told to do things? Yeah, we find that out, don't we? Do this, do that. But I want to speak about another voice. You have to be real quiet to hear her soft whisper. It's not about being in a silent room, no. It's about turning off that noisiness in your head, that incessant buzz that filters and adds to everything you hear. It's somehow arrogant, all-knowing commentary narrating your life. So, is there any noise now? What's it saying? Could it be judging? What's she on about? She sucks. Or is it giving an opinion? Boring. Interesting. Or complaining? Oh, it's so hot in here. <laughs> but that's not her. That's not the voice I'm talking about. She's under that babbling, buzzing noise. She is there, underneath it all. She's the one that is not a she, not a he, not an it, not a they. She's the one that's free of all pronouns, firmly full, acutely alive, plentifully abundant, and so wise. Because she's free of gender, free of identity, free of rules and regulations, free of revolution and rebellion. It's a voice that knows you so well, magical and mysterious, yet here and real. Oh, she can lead you if you let her, to your authenticity, to your realness, to your freedom. She's the one that speaks to you in soft, shimmering waves of glittering, vibrant sounds that swirl and spiral into a symphony of words that you know ring those bells of truth. Under the noise, there is a voice. <laughs>